but I know, I know, I know. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the state of Florida and TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Detroit Lions and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Tien to start the drive to the 22-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Four. Now they deal with a second and six. ETN once more. And he'll get to the 29 yard line back down there. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. On first down, Lawrence. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, his first pass attempt of the game, Charles, and the pass rush was right there to hit him. But no fear, he delivered an accurate ball. Nice catch. And you never want to see your quarterback getting hit. But it also sends a message to the rest yeah. of the team when he's able to take that shot and still deliver downfield. Showing a little toughness, and the team rallies around him. This could really help them on their drive. Play action. It's Lawrence. They're looking for Kirk, but this pass is intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid their turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And some room to maneuver. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Yeah, and this could be a sign of what this defense is in for because you know all week long the coaches were preaching to the defense You've got to be able to wrap up against a back like him, or he can make you pay. Technique, touchdown! A seven-yard touchdown grab. 
And the Lions take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he returns this to the 22. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little Wait, bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. ETN up the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. On first down, right back to ETN. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 11 yards there, just like last play. Now well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. On play action, Lawrence. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Lions will take over possession here. Up at the 44. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is what every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 60 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed. Not and this is going to be intercepted. And the Jaguars are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. 
We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic yeah. case of if you blink, you missed him. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. To try again after the sack. Lawrence, screenplay, here's ETN. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Here's Lawrence to throw. This complete to Jones. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy should be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. I'm ready. On first and ten, it's ETN. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Second and eight. Lawrence. They'll try and set up the screen to ETN. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. It should be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. From midfield now, Lawrence. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 22. And this was a nice example of an offensive corner scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Yep. To throw again on second down. Lawrence caught by Jones. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. The carry here for the big tight end. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Chris Manhurts taking it in from two yards out. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. 
fielded right around the eight. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. offense ready to kick off their next drive and the ball banked way up so thinking with this amount of time on the clock probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers yeah I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation either side of the ball just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it first down Detroit 16 yards on the pickup And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And that is incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. 96 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. They'll try and run here with Swift, and he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Goff now looks to throw. And Sharp calls it in. Touchdown, Detroit! DJ Shark, 52 yards. And the Lions have moved out in front. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Dan Campbell makes the call. His guys will go for two here. Goff looking to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target to tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Yeah. 
throwing now. Lawrence on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jones. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. A great job there, Charles, just to hold on, absorb that contact. I guess that's the risk you take catching the ball toward the middle of the field. It is, and if you're going to gain yardage, you're going to have to go there at some point. But how about the read, okay? The eyes of that play, stepping out from the middle of the field and really making a big hit. Did not get free, but boy, that's a tough area to go into when you're going into his spot. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and handle it a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll be tackled right on the chop at a 45. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. They go play action with Lawrence. That one complete downfield to Kirk. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now Lawrence on first down. And one more time, here's Kirk. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Straight ahead, ETN. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Come on. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Now Lawrence, and he's got it. And the Jags are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every point. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Trevor Lawrence. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Jaguars have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll be stopped up at the 25.
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you run consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays. But it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs. Keep possession of the football. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Gone. And this one is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And the Jags are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people don't question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the The pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. After the sack on first down, Lawrence. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking downfield for Jones. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Gotta have it, Lawrence. On oh, a bad time lay for a poor throw, it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Lions are gonna have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. 123 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. 
no better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. We'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. From the gun, here's Swift. Room here to run. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Goff now to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now Goff. He'll drop this one off to Swift. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a gain of three there, and that should be just about all she wrote. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Goff going to throw it. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's able to break out a run tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. Third and goal at the four-yard line. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So here comes a very important kick now for Michael Badgley. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, this ball game was close throughout. Remember, it was neck and neck at intermission, neck and neck at the end, but a great job to come in here in a tough environment, Charles, and get the victory. Yeah, tough environment indeed. How about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us, partner? They weren't real happy that their team didn't keep the home field. How about how these visitors came in, calm every step of the way, even with all the pressure, and found a way to get out of here with a win.